Good morning, everyone, from the beautiful state of Nebraska. We are back and hoping to find more milks. So there's not too much to say about this place. It's beautiful, open country. So hopefully we'll be able to turn up some snakes today. We're gonna get to flipping rocks and I will have the GoPro running. So you guys will see if we find anything. Oh, a skull. Oh, who's that? Looks like. That is a mammal. What is that, a beaver? That's a beaver. What? What? Who's this? No, that could be. That's a beaver. That's a beaver. What? Why? Why, Why is there a beaver skull? That's a good skull, too. Oh, it's a porcupine. It's a porcupine. Oh, yeah. There's quills. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. That's you know, awesome. There's one okay. more animal that that could be. Yeah. I gave Carson a coyote skull for his birthday one time. That's really cool. Animals. I would probably... Oh, my box turtle! Box turtle? He's basking! Yeah! Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That is our first herp of the day that's not a scoloporus. That is an ornate box turtle here in western Nebraska. Well, that's really cool. We haven't seen much else this morning. It's getting pretty hot, so we might not, but you can kind of see his head right there. He's being shy, and we're not going to mess with him, but very cool. Ornate box turtle is our first herp of the trip in Nebraska. I love this sandhill habitat in Nebraska. It's been a pretty slow day so far, but there's so much life out here. Tons of birds, tons of insects, and there's probably tons of herps too. We just gotta find them. It's really warm today, so it's not as cool as it has been. So we're just kind of driving around right now, checking out these ponds, and hoping to see some turtles or snakes or whatever we can find. Look at those flies right there. We got a big bull snake in the road. Go we'll get him. Woo! Well, there's our, whoa, this is our first snake in Nebraska this trip? Yeah. Yeah. Nice big bull snake on the road. Well, that is a really good first snake in Nebraska for the trip, I think. Big, healthy, handsome bull snake here in the Sand Hills. His black goes hard, too. Yeah. She just keeps coming right back towards the road. There she goes. All right, guys, well, that's a big rainstorm on the horizon. So we're gonna go drive around for a little bit and see what we can see crossing the roads. Well, we just found a DOR red-sided garter, which was really unfortunate, but this habitat is just beautiful with that big storm looming over there, which is hopefully heading away from us so we'll stay dry tonight, but it just looks great out here and it feels pretty snaky. So hopefully we'll see some stuff. Racer. Racer. Oh, nice. Let's let's get in C2. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move. Well, the Boom. first thing we flipped in this county had a racer under it, so that's cool. That's cool. That's a good piece of cover. Well, there is our first living snake of the afternoon. A nice yellow-bellied racer we just flipped under some random roadside trash. All right, well, we're going to put this guy back, but nice yellow-bellied racer as our next find here in Nebraska. Hopefully there will be some stuff moving on the road, but we're going to go flip a little bit of tin too. So kind of a mixed evening of herping between cruising and flipping. But let's just uh, let him go back under there. Don't go into the grass, go under your piece. There you go. It's under the grass. Oh, a Radix. Nope. Or no, a red side, yeah. Yes. I just said the wrong Latin name. I forgive you. He's in shit. Oh no. <laughs> well, we got a nice red sided garter that's in shed, but still pretty sharp looking snake. First one yeah, of these dude. we've seen this trip. Good tin right here. Good tin over there. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and flip that tin. These guys are probably gonna be pretty common at this spot. What do you need? Just in the middle, in the middle if you can reach it. Right here. Ah, Racer, that's a beautiful one. one. Holy wow. Crap. All right, I know the light sucks because it's about to get dark on us, but there is our next racer of the day, the biggest one we've seen so far, and probably the nicest one on top at least. But yeah, we're getting into some snakes here at the end of the day, so we're going to try to keep the ball rolling and let this guy go. Another one. Yeah, sorry, we're running out of time. That guy's got a black... Ah! He's got a black mask almost. Yeah. All right, well... Whoa! 
He get you? No. Nah. All right, I'm just gonna let this guy go. Go for it. Go under your piece, brother. Three racers. Today. There he goes. Keep that in mind. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, bull snake. Grab, Grab him. Grab him. Yeah. I got him. All right, get make sure Carson's out of the way first. And then also the snake. All right, snake's yeah. out. Easy. It's an in shed Sorry, bull so snake. Out. No, because you haven't seen one of those. Huh? There's the <laughs> attitude. Oh, he's got angry. He's very in shed. Yeah. Three racers. All right, well. Third snake at this spot alone. More spot, more snakes than we found all day today at this one spot. And it's another bull snake. This one deep in shed. Whoa! That was close, dude. All right, well, they can't always be beautiful. <laughs> it's actually got nice patterning. Too. Yeah. It's a great looking snake. I'd like to see that with a, with a fresh shed. All right, I'm just gonna let him go back under. Assuming it's not ISO 3 million. Go on. He looks like a pine on the front. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully those videos came out pretty well because it's getting dark on us, but we're about to hit the road again and start cruising. All right, well, there is our first snake of the night on the road. This is a Plains Garter snake. We've seen a lot of them in Colorado, but other than that, I haven't seen many of these guys at all. And I really like them. That is a beautiful snake. Look at that. But two garter snake species here, and this makes three garter snake species for the trip. This guy's got a really bold stripe there at the front and it kind of fades towards the tail but snakes are moving so we're going to get a quick shot of this guy and get back on the road oh yeah there's a spade foot yeah he's neat so that's a plain spade foot mm -hmm. really cool yeah is this bomba fronds mm -hmm. okay yeah we see these guys in west texas but we're real far north i had no idea spade foots range this far north and here is another toad. This guy is a big, chunky Woodhouse's toad. We saw these guys yesterday in Wyoming, but I think this is my first from Nebraska. And he's meaty. Look at this. Big toad. But we're just going to move this guy off the road, too. All right, guys. Well, we are probably only going to be seeing one snake tonight. It's been a couple hours, and we haven't seen anything since that radix at dusk. So, I mean, that's better than nothing. It was a great addition to the species list for the trip and a really pretty garter snake. But... That might be it for today, so unless we see something between here and the hotel, I will see you all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is day two in Nebraska, and we are getting started here flipping some artificial cover. So I'm going to strap up the GoPro, and we're going to get to flipping. Here it is. Yeah. And it looks good, boys. Oh, nice. Ready? Brethren. Dang. Oh, snake. oh Bring that. whoa, what? what the There's a dead one under there, too. What Look. the heck? There are ringneck snakes here? That's crazy. You know what that means? That we might be in fox snake range. Right yeah, now. that might be a, like a significant find, too. That's yeah. awesome. Why is there a dead one under there? Yeah. Here, you want to let me get Those a voucher of that dead boy? Too. Are they RNI? Uh, yeah. I don't know what else they'd be. All right, guys. Well, that little roadside board produced a really unexpected find. I didn't even know we were in range of ringnecks, but sure enough, here is a really big, beautiful prairie ringneck. Obviously, these guys are one of the more common snakes on the planet in some of the places in Kansas and Nebraska, uh, but just not up in this part of the state. We are at the northern limit of their range right now, I believe, but really cool. Wasn't expecting a ringneck under there, and there was a dead one, too, so I don't know if, like, a herper dropped this on it or if he just got stuck under there or what, but really unexpected find. I'm, I'm assuming these guys are going to be fairly uncommon in this region because we're at the northwestern extent of their range here. But yeah, really pretty bellies, a lot more uh, going on down there than the ringnecks we get back home. They got a nice, really orange transition there at the tail. Might be something that we don't see any more of for the rest of the trip, so we're gonna put her back on her board and keep herping. Hoping for a milk snake and possibly even a fox snake today. All right, guys, well, there's this busy highway, and we just saved this guy from getting squished. This is a beautiful western painted turtle. Probably been the most common turtle of the trip, but we've been seeing him a lot in ditches where we don't get to get a good look at him. But look at that. That belly is fantastic. Really awesome. You can see his little face in there, too. Really beautiful turtles. That is really cool. This guy was just sitting in the road like this, tucked into a shell. 
I'm guessing a car almost hit him and he got spooked and went inside, but he was heading across that way. So we're gonna take him over there in the direction he was heading. We just saw a must, there he is, look. <laughs> I assume they were, I assume they were. All right, here you go, buddy. There he goes, he's got a pretty head too. Look at that guy. Very nice, Western painted turtle. All right guys, it is the evening now and today has probably been the slowest day of the trip so far, but we have been harping a really hard area and uh, we're hitting our best spot last this evening where hopefully we'll be able to find some snakes. Well, yeah, this is a really cool area, beautiful habitat, lots of pine trees, nice open country. You can see over there, really, really pretty. Hopefully we'll be able to find some snakes out here to wrap up this episode. All right guys, Carson just flipped our first snake of the afternoon. This is a cute little baby bull snake. About as tiny as these guys come. I mean, he probably hatched in the fall, so this will be his first full year on planet Earth, but really cute. I think I flipped a bull snake nest over there. There were a bunch of big eggs under a rock, so it's possible that this guy even came out of that nest, which is really cool to think. But we have been seeing plenty of these guys this trip, so we're just gonna put him back and uh, keep flipping, see what else we can turn up. It's definitely a little bit toasty out here, probably around 80 degrees and sunny, which can get pretty hot. So we're gonna let this guy go and get back to flipping. But baby bull snake is our next find of the day. This guy's also deep in shed. You can see his eyes are blue there, but really cute, really cool looking little snake. All right guys, well Carson spotted this big bull snake out on the crawl. That's our second bull snake at this spot. That might be the biggest one of the trip so far. No, the yeah. big one we flipped that was in shed was bigger, but he wasn't as pretty. It's a I good think looking snake. it wasn't snake. as long, but it was heavier. Yeah. Either way, really nice looking bull snake here stretched out in habitat. Second one of the day. Rattling his tail at us a little bit, but he's feeling pretty confident in his ability to stay camouflaged, evidently. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Graham's flipping the rock. He's periscoping. I had to flip. Oh, look at how peaceful. Yeah. Off he goes. <laughs> Here's another prairie lizard out running around. Oh, a race runner. Really? Yeah. Wow, he's pretty. Look at that guy. This little guy is a prairie race runner. These are a subspecies of the six line race runner we get back home, and obviously they're a lot more colorful. They get some really cool green coloration on them, but other than that, very similar lizards. They live in open sandy areas, which are a lot more abundant here in the Great Plains. Really cool lizards. I'm just gonna put him back under his brick and we're gonna keep flipping. It's getting kind of late in the day though, so we might be wrapping up here shortly. Well, that might end up being our last herp of the day. We are currently heading towards the hotel, but we might see some stuff on the road. Another painted turtle. These guys have been all over today. Most of the ones we've seen have been in the dishes, basking on logs and such. But we've gotten two alive on the road and a lot more dead, unfortunately. She might come out for us here. Nah. <laughs> But either way, really cool turtles. This one's quite a bit bigger than the first one we got to see in hand today. Steven just found a snake. That's a dead Blanding's turtle right there. Yep, dead Blanding's turtle. Holy crap, that's a Colorado sized one. He's got a meal in him too. Yep. Probably a bullfrog. Wow. Well, that's cool. We were, uh, all right, well, big plains garter snake with a probably an invasive bullfrog in its stomach. We'll have to double check and make sure they're invasive here, but we'll just make sure she gets off the road and into the marsh safely. She's got such a big meal, she can hardly move. an awesome area all right well we're back in the hotel room carson's pumping up his floor mattress steven's eating canes on the bed we had a pretty slow two days compared to the first two days of the trip carson <laughs> 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 
falls out a third story window on camera. TikTok blow up. <laughs> Anyways, we're eating dinner in the hotel, and we're probably going to wrap this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>